Fire for Fire, Tunubu admits involvement in drug trafficking. Dears U.S. to do their worst. My people, now we don't know. This is the Lord TV. Yes, um, we don't come with this very broadcast to um, to enlighten you on the current update of this allegation on Bola Ahmed Tunubu concerning the drug trafficking matter. Um, you will agree with me when it was said and uh, and uh, and uh, revealed that Bola Ahmed Tunubu is uh is into drug trafficking you understand and um that uh, he actually forfeited uh, uh four hundred and sixty thousand dollars okay uh, uh for, to the u.s government over that very allegation in the time past now on that very same matter bolamed tunubu has spoken saying that he doesn't care anymore but then that truly is not enforceable. That uh, they cannot use that as, as, as a criteria to deny him his position as president truly elected in Nigeria. He said on a normal ground that Peter Obi is not of his match when it comes to contesting for presidency. <laughs> what a confidence. Well, uh, my people, um, Bola Ahmed Tunubu, as we all know him to be, is this man that is um, politically inclined and he has all of the strategy to get to that very point. See, see how he actually did everything despite um, everything that has really happened. Well, I, um, I'm still very much concerned about this and I still really want to see this to the very end. Let, let's quickly check the content, my dear listeners. This is Morning News. The president-elect Bola Tunubu yesterday told the Presidential Election Petition Tribunal, PEPT, it lacked necessary jurisdiction to enforce a purported decision of a United States District Court that ordered the forfeiture of the sum of $460,000 in some U.S. bank account linked to him in 1993. Tunubu stated this in his response to the petition filed by the Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi against his victory at the February 25th presidential election further hanged his argument on the fact that the said U.S. court order was never registered in any Nigerian court. This is as the ruling of Progressive Congress APC yesterday joined the Independent National Electoral Commission INEC in calling for the dismissal of the petition filed by the People Democratic Party PDP and its candidate Atiku Abubakar challenging the declaration of Tunubu as winner of the February 25th presidential election. The party, in a preliminary objections to the petitions, also claimed that the tribunal had no jurisdiction to adjudicate on the petition on the grounds that it lacked necessary facts or particulars as required by law. At the same time, some representatives of Tunubu yesterday told a cross-section of journalists in the United States that they claim in some quarters that the 2023 general election was the worst in Nigerian political history was totally unfounded. Obi and Labour Party had in their petition argued that Tinubu was not qualified to contest the presidential election owing to the future of the said funds in accounts linked to him and as such being disqualified and all votes accrued to him in the election be declared as wasted votes. But in the reply filed on his behalf and the vice president elect by their team of lawyers led by Chief Wally Olani Peku, San Tunubu among others argued that the decision of the U.S. District Court could not be enforced since it was neither registered nor domesticated in any court in Nigeria. While pointing out that the judgment delivered on October 4th, 1993 was not rendered by a court or tribunal created pursuant to Section 6 of the 1999 Constitution, he claimed that the decision was not in respect of any cause of action or 
offense created by an act of the National Assembly or law of a state, any subsidiary legislation or instrument under the provision of a law in Nigerian or written law in Nigeria. This honorable court lacks the jurisdiction to enforce the purported decision of the U.S. District Court as sought and alleged under by the petition. The said decision have not been registered in any trial court or domesticated in any court in Nigeria. Okay, now my people, when I don't hear the matter as it go. Um, now, Paul Ahmed Tunubu Nain, they talk so with uh, in in uh, 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 lawyers and uh, top personalities who actually have uh, been in the fight against those who want to deny him of his position as president elect of Nigeria. Well, uh, the matter is still very much strong in the courts as um, facts are still coming up. People are still bringing up uh, their opinions, you know, people are still coming up with ideas. People are not giving up at all, at all, at all. <laughs> you will not believe what is still on on this very matter. I am happy. I am happy to hear this anyway. Be that as it may, my people, the matter is still very much becoming sweeter and sweeter. Um, but I mean, Tunubu, um, don't yet um, give yourself so much confidence just like uh, you have been advised. Well, uh, your one of your prominent uh, spokesperson and lawyer, um, Kiyama, already have called for a shutdown of celebration because uh, the, the matter is already getting worse than expected. No be smart my people. Um, be that as it may, let's quickly hear your opinion on the matter. Let's know what your take on this may be. Don't forget to leave them below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to receive more updates. Thank you.